Que la que hay corillo, welcome back to Yo Mismo TV, this is your host Jomo and today we're talking about S14 update. It's been a little bit since I work on this car and the reason why is because I'm trying to buy some parts but I'm not trying to spend a lot of money that I don't have. So today I'm going to roll the fenders because I did align the car from the back, you know, a little bit, not super perfect. I still need to buy the kit to align the cars, uh, the plates or whatever it's called uh, from internet. So I just put the wheel straight and I'm doing uh, fender running on the back because I don't have the money or I don't want to put the money right now into the wide body kit or at least the panels from the back. So for those that just join in, um, welcome. This is a channel for car enthusiasts and I'm trying to make it a little bit better, but I'm not dedicating full time to this. So you will see videos here and there, but I'm trying to keep you guys update. I'm building an S14 that I got on a trade, not the best trade that I have done in my life, but it was what I wanted, so I did it. Anyways, I got an S14 and the plan is to make it as a drift car, right? That's what I got it for. The car came with an engine, a 5.3 out of a Chevy or GMC Sierra. Um, it's the LM7. So that's the engine that it has iron block, uh, aluminum head, uh, 5.3 liters. It has a bunch of shit that they said it had. I don't really know because I can't really see internals yet. I haven't break the engine, so I don't have a reason to open it, right? So I don't know. It sounds healthy. Uh, the compression is healthy. So this is where I got S14. Now I'm building and I'm doing some stuff because the car has some really messy work. So I'm fixing that and trying to make it better, right? Some of the things that I have done is I, had, I put a big angle kit from FDF, super great. Um, and I had a, I, I do have a hydro, I haven't connected. And um, I think that's about it. I've, I've been doing some stuff here and there. Like I move all the wiring harness to the, uh, to the dash, under the dash. So everything is there. I cut a little bit of metal on front to be able to uh, have more room for the tire to rotate with that kit. And um, I lower the car. I'm trying to find that perfect uh, right height. I don't want to have the car super slammed. I mean, that's what I really love, but I understand the fact that it does not perform the same way if it's super slammed. So I'm lowering a little bit. Um, enough for me to be happy and for the car to handle good. That's where I'm at. I was building a Toyota truck. Unfortunately, I stopped that build and I started doing this one. And I think this one is gonna have a lot of damage to it because I'm gonna be learning how to drift. Um, and once everything breaks apart, I don't wanna use this box anymore. I still have that little pickup that I wanna build eventually. Probably put some mechanic parts from here over there, but that's a big project from another day. Um, things that I still need to put is the brakes. I really need brakes. This is a four hop car still, four lock, sorry. The hop is four lock. I need to update it for five lock because I have more uh, options on wheels and whatnot. And I need brakes. This is OEM brakes. So pretty much the car only have engine, transmission, and a wall differential. It seems like they work on it before on the panels and whatnot so i don't really care about this as much as i would if it was like a really sylvia from japan and whatnot this is just a car to have fun and learn upcoming parts that i need to get is first the brake second i'm missing uh what else i think it's just the brake because i have everything else i mean i don't really need much to go and drift i can do it right now but i just want to have a healthy car maybe stage one stage two on uh, in the drift, maybe have enough to like do better run, right? So that's where I'm at. Uh, today, like I say, we're gonna roll those fenders because if you look at this, that's not moving from there. So I'm gonna roll the fenders. I eventually want to have everything else, like I mentioned the brakes and whatever I still need to put so I can spend money on this stuff. I don't really consider the wide body or the rear bumper that I took off and I'm leaving it without because I like it better. Or like front fenders that I'm missing. I don't... Oh, oh my mother. Front fenders that are missing and other stuff. I don't see that as a very important right now because I'm trying to do all mechanical first and then we go to the cosmetic. So 
As of right now, doing that fender rolling because I have the tools and I don't have the money for the wide body kit. I'm not doing anything on the front. And I'm waiting on a kit that I purchased from internet. I was watching some videos and let me show you guys what I got. Well, it's not here yet. There we go. This car came with a, well, it has a Siki uh, oil pan or Psyche, whatever, right there. And they put this uh, relocation oil filter plate. But this was like right in here. But since I cut that piece of metal, I don't have anything. I don't have, I can't put this anywhere else. So since I can't put this one anywhere else, I had to put it in there. And it's really close to the headers. And this is going to create a lot of heat and that's not good. So I purchased a kit where I have an oil cooler and I can put that oil cooler on the front somewhere around here. And actually I buy a new hose so I can move this one a little bit forward. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna put it somewhere in here on this space because I also purchased the electrical power steering pump so I will be getting rid of this. So I'm going to have a little bit more room, especially with these hoses, right? So that's the thing that I'm gonna do. Put this filter in here, maybe somewhere around because I need uh, to secure that and take it away or as far as I can from the engine. So, second thing, like I said, is that power steering pump, electrical, that probably is gonna go in the trunk right next to that battery. So batteries on this side, I'm probably gonna put that pump on this side or maybe somewhere around here. I'm not sure yet, but relocate, I relocate the battery. So that's here and probably the pump will be somewhere in here. Or, I don't know, I'm not sure. So that's the plan for uh, the next two things that I'm gonna put, that's the plan for them. Now I'm gonna run it without bumper. I really like it without bumper. I wish I have the money to buy the tubing that they make for these on the back or the money to make it, but I know so I'm gonna run with this bar here. It doesn't look super horrible, it's not the best. and you might be thinking what the fuck is this guy doing he's fucking that car up fuck the quarter panel look at that shit well wait till i take this car for the first track day then you're gonna be like oh fuck he's fucking it up 
that's what I needed. The car, I think the wheel will fit. I gotta check, but that's pretty good. It's super hard to do because this is two metal. So I have that in here, and then this on top. It's super bad. But for those that think that I'm fucking it up, yes, I am. But keep in mind that I'm cutting this quarter panel and that it was work. If you look at this, paint is super different on these two spots. So they repainted it. And you can see this side was paint. This one is OEM, I guess. So I'll be cutting this shit like from here all the way. I put a brand new fucking um, white body thing. All right, so probably taking this part of the car into a wall.